Thank you, Jordan. And in addition to the federal elections that could decide who controls Congress for the next two years, we're also tracking county level elections here at home. We've got ABC 4's Kate Garner tracking the race to replace a fixture in Salt Lake County politics and elect the county's first new clerk in 32 years. And we have reporter Rick Aaron in Orem following the proposal to create a new school district for the city. Yes, but first, let's head right out to Rick. Yeah, guys, no wonder this has been an emotional and controversial issue in this city of 98,000 because it involves the children who go to public schools here and also it involves the wallets of taxpayers. Proposition 2 would create a separate Orem School District away from the current Alpine School District. Now it's up to the voters to cast their ballots whether to stay or break away. We have seen a steady stream of voters out here in the drizzle this afternoon. The Orem City Council actually proposed this a year ago and then hired a consulting firm to look into the matter. Just last month, they voted four to three in favor of recommending the proposal to create a separate school district here in Orem. Now, a group called Stronger Together says, wait, that is a bad idea. They said this would be costly for the city of Orem. It would un necessarily disrupt some students who would have to go to different schools. It would duplicate current services, personnel and facilities. And they claim that the Orem schools currently get $21 million a year from the Alpine School District. They say that this could cost property taxpayers here in the city of Orem a 50% increase in their taxes. But some of the voters I spoke to says, say that doesn't matter to them. I'm paying my property tax right now. <laughs> so it's going to go up whether we stay with Alpine or whether we divide. And so I'd rather just be our own city. Once it gets too large, overhead costs, I mean, things start to get out of balance. I mean, when it stays localized and there's more control in a, a smaller zone, um, there's a, usually a better outcome. Yeah, that's what a lot of people here in Orem believe, that if they can keep the tax dollars here in the city, they can have more control over where that money goes and how their schools are operated. By the way, the Utah Taxpayers Association weighed in on this issue. They said that 50% tax hike is simply not true, and the Utah Taxpayers Association recommends voting for Proposition 2. Of course, we will stay on top of this race as more people show up here to vote outside of Orem City Hall. We'll bring you the latest throughout the evening. Reporting live in Orem, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.